Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy. Today I'm going to be starting the 7 Toddler Challenge. In this challenge you have one adult sim who is taking care of 7 toddlers. Sometimes it gets hectic, but overall I love the toddler stage so it's actually kind of fun for me. This is my young adult sim. Abby. These are actually all of her children with her neighbor, Kai, which if you've ever watched my Single Teen Mom Life series, he appeared in episode two, but I liked him so much so I brought him over here instead of creating a new one and just aged him up to young adult. But these are all of their children. You have Mario, Asher, Dallas, um, Vanessa, Leanne, Kristen, and Zoe. All of their outfits, outfits will be a theme color to keep track of them. And this is the house that I built to do the seven toddler challenge. It's pretty basic, nothing special whatsoever. You come in, there's a little living room area, play area, kitchen with chairs for them to sit in, and no table since they can't really sit at the table. This is where Abby sleeps in her bathroom. And over here is where the seven toddlers sleep. And each room is a themed color. And it matches whatever color they're wearing. And the doors are locked for only the child that can go that's supposed to be in there so there's no it's my way of them claiming their bed and then I have a bathroom here with extra potties and the bathtub so like I said it's nothing special but it does what it's supposed to do I guess now here they have more dollhouses and the out outdoor toys so they're going to head on in the first part of this is going to be the hectic part because none of them are potty trained I used every trait except independent so I don't even have an independent one to train themselves so pretty much what she's going to have to do is start with one and get them trained up to two now I've seen rules for this and I've seen like there's an extreme way where you play as only the adult or only as the toddlers and I've tried playing as just the adult but the toddlers will literally starve themselves if you don't make them go eat yourself. So I'll be playing as both but trying to play minim minimally as the toddlers. So first I've got to get them all to go. And I always keep the gate locked for Everybody but Abby after I get the toddlers in. Oh, fire zip. <laughs> <laughs> Many of them are angry because they had an unwanted sibling when I aged them up. You have some that are sad because they had an unwanted sibling. So after they all get in, I normally lock the front door. There's a side door over here that they can come out into the play area. This is locked for everybody but Abby. So after they come in, I'll lock the front gate and I'll leave it un unlocked for employees because I do use a maid for this.
So that's it. First she needs to not to play on the dollhouse as usual. She does not have very good skills, so I hope she does not burn the house down trying to cook some mac and cheese. I do have this on long lifespan. I like to play it on long, and I like to say that they cannot, they are not successful unless they get master every skill. And most of the time, I let them just do whatever. Thinking is the only one that I've seen to see that toddlers will not do on their own most of the time unless they're inquisitive like he's actually doing thinking right now watching her so he's probably got a little bit of thinking skill see um I'll have her call them to eat and then she will start potty training them call a meal When I had this house for my original seven toddler family that I was playing just for fun, I literally only had seven chairs and she kept taking one and there was this poor toddler that would always come eat out here alone. So I ended up putting eight. Normally the first few days of this there's no schedule. It's it's literally chaos. I also need to get her to hire a service. Scheduled made. I use this sometimes just to get roast chicken really quick for them if She's in a pinch. There's a chair. Oh, I forgot to add the eighth chair when I replaced it. This is the problem I was having in my original game that I was playing it on. There's one toddler that always comes and sits out here because there was no chair. So I'll fix that after they're finished eating. Not sure if she's done eating. She is done. So we're going to have her potty train first. So potty train Leanne. Leanne's the silly one. I have it to where she cannot get into these rooms on her own because if not she will constantly run into each one of them all the time every time they move so she's going to start potty training Leanne and once we get Leanne at least to level 2 we'll start moving on I'm sure some will probably use their diaper in the process I'm not sure what he's doing, just... He's the charmer. So they have plenty to do in their rooms. They have everything, the bookcase, rabbit tablet, blocks, their potty, bed, a little toy. I have more toys now because I forgot to put the mailbox in the front. So they're all going to come out here and play on the, um, I originally only had one, but they all, toddlers love these, so. There is a door right here that if I need to, I can lock to where they stay in their rooms, and there is the little bakery thing to put food in for them so they're not starving.
And there's more than enough doll houses that y'all can play. Okay, so she's trained her once, and it's it's a pretty good bar. It normally takes about two to three times on the more expensive potties for them to get to level two. Her only friend is literally Kai. She may actually be friends with the nanny I had when I was trying to age them all up from babies. I mean, she. I used MC Command Center to get her to go into labor immediately, and she, she literally gave birth to all of these. So yeah, this was the nanny that I had earlier. Um, sure, earbuds will be good to tune them out sometimes. Again, since the nanny can't even, not the nanny, but the maid, not get into these rooms either. I'll normally slide these out if they need to be emptied so she can empty them and I'll put them back in. Okay, let's see how high she's gotten. Um, somebody's crying. It's probably this one. Oh yeah, she is not happy. Oh, she's over here. She's like, I'm just gonna stand here and cry till somebody pays attention to me. Cause she is feeling alone. Okay, one more time in me, and she would at least be level two to where. We could help her without. And after that, we'll just start on the next one. Um, she is angry because she doesn't want to play with the dolls anymore. Well, stop playing with them. That was your choice. Okay, she has reached level two. So let's start on Mario. Oh no, we already have a broken dollhouse. Oh, another thing I forgot to add was the Stereo, so I'm gonna just go do that real quick. Okay, so after she's done with that, she's gonna go play. If y'all break all these dollhouses first off, then you're not gonna have anything to play with because she's not fixing them, so y'all are potty trained. Actually, before she potty trains Mario, I'm going to have her go to the bathroom. Oh, see, somebody just used their diaper. I think it was this one, maybe. Oh. Two, four, five, six... Seven. Have her do that. We'll have her clean that, and then we will have her start on. Let's have her start on Dallas because he's just chilling in the house right now. Uh, 
I'll wait till they go to sleep and then I will repair the dollhouse. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's put it on Kids Radio. Oh no, he doesn't want a potty train. No, you don't really have a choice. Okay. See about this time. Okay, while well, they're working on that, let's go check on. Here we have four of them, five, six, there they all are. Oh. He's probably getting ready to go take a nap in the chair because. Oh, he thinks he's going to break a dollhouse too. Well, he's not done potty training, so he's not. And we will potty train you again. And I will show you uh, another way to help them get potty skill. It will probably be in my 100 baby tips video whenever I get around to recording that. But it is one way. Um, who is this little bean? Um, Zoe. Oh, Zoe wants to dance. I'm not going to bother Zoe. Um, oh, you're going to play in the toilet? Let's not. Let's come and watch Dallas. Of course, by the time you get in here to watch him, he'll probably be off of that one. Oh, she's going to go hug the unicorn. Or yell at it. You, they will be running in no time. Oh, let's lock. Oh, not you. Lock the door for everyone but Abby. Allow access to employees. Oh, he still doesn't want a potty train. I forgot what trait he had. Probably fussy. Fussy. So let's see. He's sitting here. He's watching, and he's gaining potty skill by watching some another toddler on the on the potty. Oh, she's the wild one, so she, she'll probably be running around without clothes on half the time. It doesn't help them quickly, but... Oh, no. Discipline recent behavior. Strict Ella for making a mess. Well, I guess that'll give the maid something to do tomorrow. Alright, let's finish potty training Dallas. He probably just needs to go one more time. And he'll be done. I will have the house in the gallery as as is. I will also put the family on the gallery, but she does have custom content, so there are things on her you'll have to change if you don't have what I have, and all of the children are just regular game. Of course, various packs, but...
Okay, where is Leanne? She is the one. She's starting to get hungry, but let's go ahead and send her to. They refuse. You have to train them to go to bed. Alright, she's wearing purple, so she's in there. Alright, Dallas is done, so. He has a red room, so he'll go in there. And then let's have her potty train Asher. I'm not even sure where he went. He's asleep on the chair. Don't use the diaper. That's like the only thing that you cannot get them to stop doing. And normally what I end up doing is when they need baths, I'll do three or four the first day. And then the second group will get theirs the next day. If not, it's she has no time to do anything else. So we're going to start potty training Asher. Um, he's heading to bed to take a nap. He's potty training. He's going to sleep. She's playing dolls and then she's going to go take a nap. She should be sleeping. She's going to take a nap on the chair. And she's going to babble to somebody who's going to their room and she cannot get into it. So we've got two, almost three potty trains. So we're making pretty good progress. She is going to have to go. She'll probably just do a roast chicken because she can do that really quickly. I don't really play with any set of rules, but I did. Oh, there's another dollhouse gone. And then they cry over it when they did it. But I did just cheat her money up to put the house down. I think I gave her 300000 put the house down. And she'll just continue to live off of this. If she has to, she can get a work from home job. There is a computer down this hallway. Okay, so let's potty train Asher again. Abby, I just won two tickets to the San Machino Theater sold out show. Want to go with me? No, I'm busy raising your children. I'm sure he'll be stopping by occasionally. It is her only friend, and she is his only friend at this point, I think. So I think after three, we'll call it a day with potty training. And we will work on the other ones tomorrow. She's probably going to have to do potty train him one more time. So Asher. She's by... Wait, she's in the orange room. She left her room to go lay in the chair. I know I have her door unlocked for her. Not for specific 
Yeah, it's unlocked for her, so she should be able to get in. Oops. Oh, he passed out, so she has to wait for him to wake back up. Potty train Asher, and then we will serve a roast chicken. And she is tired as well, so... Um, she is a little smelly. She needs a diaper change. Huh. Pinner for frosh. Ah, Glimula Bisba. Ah, Watanini Fremic. Change diaper. They all need their diapers changed. It gets really smelly the first first couple of days until you can get them potty trained to other. Level 3 is ideally where you want them as soon as possible so that they will be willing. That will be the first thing they want to do is go to the potty chair. Okay. He's at level 2. Mira and I know what? You don't want your diaper change? You want to sit around in that? Okay. She's still going to need a bath as soon as possible. Um, no, you need to grab a serving. Has she called everybody to this meal? You've already got one. You've got one, so please do not go grab another one. Eat this one. You no, please eat this one. <laughs> Otherwise, everybody else needs to go get theirs. Um, whose is this? No, you will eat this one. No, Asher, you will go get one. You're going to get yours. You're eating yours. Who am I missing? Where are you? You're eating. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. One left. We will throw that out. I uh, just saw she was using her diaper, so she's probably going to be stinky really soon. Okay, so I'm going to have her go to the bathroom and then go to sleep. And then once these start finishing their food, I'm going to have them go back to sleep as well. She's 
she's done. You're not done. And you have gone to sleep in the chair. But did you finish your food? No, ma'am, I threw it on the floor because that makes sense. But well, whose is this? Okay, you're just going to bed. You didn't quite finish. You finished. You go to green. You're going to bed. You have passed out. This is your room, so go to bed. You are in the bed. You are still asleep on the chair, starving because you refuse to get up and eat. Come and eat this roast chicken. Oh, we have babies passing out, and then Zoe has finished eating so she can go to sleep. Um, we don't have Asher, go to sleep in there. A oh, little stinky baby. So sorry. This housekeeper is really going to be earning their share here for a while. Where are you going? No, just go to sleep. So the only one left is Kristen. She is pretty much finished, so we will just let her go to sleep. She'll probably pass out before she gets there. Because instead of putting plates over here, they have to walk all the way over here to walk all the way back over here. So she's going to have a lot to get done tomorrow. Oh, she's passing out. Um, please go to sleep as soon as you're up off the floor. Abby is going to have a lot to do. She still has to get these kids potty trained enough to go to the potty on their own without her help. She's going to have to do lots of baths and still manage to eat and cook for them. She may end up ordering a pizza. Um, I do not recommend doing the yogurt for breakfast if you have enough skill for gourmet cooking. They get very, very mean because it's considered a dessert, apparently. So, after this little tot goes to bed, I'm going to end this episode. And when I come back, we will pick up on some point in Tuesday morning when they're all awake. And I really enjoy the seven toddler challenge, I really like playing it on longer lifespan because I really love being with the toddlers. Oh no, who's getting up and why? Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>